What's up guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add in fonts on Vegas Pro 16 because I was live streaming a couple of weeks ago and somebody asked like Alex anytime I am dragging text into the timeline and I'm using a custom font that I downloaded externally Vegas Pro doesn't really catch it up. It doesn't read it. How can I make that font still appear in Vegas Pro 16? Well, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how how to do that so if you're not satisfied with all the standard fonts Vegas Pro 16 comes with I can show you guys exactly how to download external fonts completely for free install them in Vegas Pro and that's how you can use it so if you're excited for this tutorial make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you guys obviously right after the intro Okay guys, as you can see right now, we're in Vegas Pro 16. If you're not satisfied with the fonts that Vegas Pro already has, we can add in some custom ones. So let's go to the Media Generators tab and we're gonna scroll down until we see the titles and text. So let's go ahead and drag in the sample text, the default one. Let's go ahead and see through the fonts. Now I want to mention that if I'm gonna type in my name, for example, if we're gonna scroll through the fonts, I already downloaded some custom ones, as you can see. Because for example, like this font does not come with Vegas nor Windows. If you say like, I'm not satisfied with the custom fonts, or like the fonts that uh, Vegas Pro 16 have in general, I want to have another one that doesn't is installed on my computer yet. So that's really easy. So let's go to the website in the description. There is a website that's called dafont.com and let's go over to that site. And this is basically a website where you can get and download just free fonts. You don't have to pay per font or, you know, pay a donation, anything. So at the top we see fancy. So we can choose, for example, a cartoon. If I click on there, is you can see we have all kinds of these ones. Uh, we have a foreign look, techno, gothic. If I click, for example, on various, you have like all, you know, kinds of these fonts looking very cool. So first of all, you want to make up what kind of font do I want? So let's say that we're going to pick a basic one and we're going to we're gonna click on various. So let's say that we're going to pick, for example, this one, the top one. What you want to do on that website is on the very right of the font, you will see a download button. We're going to hit that and it's going to take us straight to the download. Now we're going to open that up and then what we're going to do is we're going to basically double click on the font and then we're going to hit install at the top as you can see right now it is installing so what we're going to do then is we're going to close everything out and then if we go back to vegas we're going to drag in the text and we're going to look for the font so i'm going to type in my name and we're going to look at at the v because the name is versalita and as you can see, the font is nowhere to be found right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to save your project if you don't want to lose your progress. And then we're going to restart Vegas Pro. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go back to the media generators tab and at the bottom it says titles and text obviously and we're going to pick the default one. Now we're going to type in my name again. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to look for the font I just downloaded. Okay, here is the font we just downloaded and that is so awesome it looks. This is the new font we just installed and that is how you add in custom fonts in Vegas Pro. But there's one more thing. I receive many questions from people saying, Alex, anytime I'm dragging this titles and text one into the timeline and I'm picking the font, the font will just stay on this font, on the Verdun. So what I decided to do, just dig in a little bit more information and I found the fix. So even though if you downloaded an external font and you picked it in the list and you're text still ends up looking like this what you want to do is you want to delete that go to legacy text drag on the default one or just any text that you want then you want to type in your text then if you go ahead and look for the font which is going to be this one this will work 
anyway. So if the titles and text one does not work for you, make sure to just pick the legacy text below that and that will work. And this works exactly the same for Vegas Pro 15, Vegas Pro 14, everything like that. So this is how you add in custom fonts into Vegas Pro 16. So guys, that is for this video. That is how you add in custom fonts into Vegas Pro 16. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, make sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys obviously in a brand new video tomorrow. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you.